hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video i am going to uh, make some improvements and to make our gameplay more smooth and interesting so uh, the first problem we have is let me first remove this so as in the scene you can see that I have added a new tile here and uh, you can find it in your uh, green tiles asset folder and inside tiles the 13 number tile so uh, we are using this here and we have a polygon collider on it so uh, duplicate the same tile and flip it on x axis to make a tile like that so currently if I play my game as you can see that now our player is stuck with the tile because we are continuously pressing we are holding down the right arrow key so our character is uh, moving forward and applying force and the gravity is not uh, strong enough to pull it down so we are going to fix it so to fix that we need a physics material so I have created a folder here called physics material and inside I have a physics material called slippery so you can create a physics material by right click and go to create and select physics material 2d so after that you will uh, find this material here and name it to slippery or anything you like and uh, there are two properties one of them is friction so we know that this is a force of friction and the second thing is bounciness so uh, bounciness means how much our uh, player bounces or object bounces when it hits that material so now what i am going to do is so basically physics material we apply this only on collider so this will work on collider so i am going to select my uh, this object here and i am going to drag this slippery uh, material on my polygon collider material section same thing with this other side i am going to drag and drop it right here so now if i play my game now you can see that we are no longer stucking with the tile now another thing that uh, you need to do is go to your uh, animator and uh, uh, in here on the both of these transitions now currently if you click on your transition you will uh, notice this thing so this is actually a transition and this will uh, add a transition from one player to another so it what this blue area means that it will smoothly transition from idle animation to running animation so this smoothness will actually uh, add some delay when you uh, move your player so to remove that delay and to immediately switch from one animation to another we need to remove this transition smoothness so i am going to make it very small same thing from a running to idle transition select it and make sure to decrease it so now our character will immediately switch from one animation to another 
now uh, the next thing we need to do is we are going to introduce our enemy character which is max so uh, max will actually follow our player and uh, basically kill him so i have already added this character so uh, to add this character you need to find this dog folder inside your assets and drag this first sprite of idol into scene and name it max so we need to do the same process that we have done with our kitty so as you can see that i have a ground position max same that we have added in our kitty so also make sure that this max is on tag is max and it's on player layer so of uh, we have uh, add we have made some animations so as you can see that we have idle jump and running as animation so these are the same animations and uh, they are created using the same method that we have done with our character player kitty so after that you need to add a collider so i am using a polygon collider on our max character you can use box collider or circle collider but i think uh, polygon collider is okay for that and also we need to create a new script so inside our script i have a script called max and uh, this is a max script so what i have done here is i have copied all the code from this kitty and paste it in our max script so uh, this is actually all the variables and functions are same that we have done in our kitty character now uh, we are going to change this code in our next video because uh, in right now if you see that we are getting inputs from keyboard but the max character will not be controlled by user and instead our game will control it and it will follow our player so in the next video we are going to uh, do the whole uh, we are going to write all the code for max and uh, we will make it follow our player and hurt our player so uh, that's it for this video and if you have any problem you can always ask in uh, comments or, and uh, also in the description i have put all the links of uh, social media and whatsapp group so you can join my whatsapp group and you can get help from there